Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're going to be playing with napkins from the Dollar Tree. 25 napkins. These ones are stars. And these ones are flag. Okay, I have several different ideas. I want to put some on a bell, on the fireworks. I have rockets. All kinds of different stuff. And I got stars. These were a pain in the butt, but I finally got it down. <laughs> And I made sure that they're going to fit on the pocket file for a pocket, okay? And a bell too. Bell oh, works. This one, I traced it and traced it and traced it. Finally got it, folded it over, traced it again. Then I traced it on some cardboard and I screwed it up on this side. So I did another one. <sighs> And this one's okay, but this one's perfect. So I traced this on another piece of cardboard and marked it as the demo. <laughs> it took me a while, but I got the Liberty Bell down. Okay, beautiful beings. But the idea is I want to put the napkin onto the bells, the stars, and the fireworks. This kind of looks like dynamite to me. I don't know. But, and the rockets. But we got two different shapes. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to paint these quickly and I don't know what color to do because the napkin's going to see, you're going to see through the napkin. That's what I was thinking. We're going to do two colors. We're going to use white and we're going to use red. Okay. And we'll see which one looks better. I don't know about the rockets. We'll try a rocket because I want to do other things with these two. As I was painting beautiful beings, I was thinking, well, I don't want everything white. So I did one white star, and then I did one gold star. And then I was thinking, well, I'm doing both the bells gold. Then I just took the white paint that was left on the brush and went over the pencil marks to hide them on the bells and the stars. And I made sure I got all the edges on everything so everything looked nice and finished. Okay, beautiful beings? Hey beautiful beings, we got our stars, our bells, our rockets, and our fireworks, and our napkins. So let's begin. I'm going to try the white first. Maybe I want, here, let's do this star on this white. I think that would show up better. And I'm going to use a glue stick to begin. I just want it to hold the back down so I can pull the front up. There we go. Get it started. I'm going to take this off the whole thing because I will be using most of it. And this napkin only had one ply to it. Some have two plies to it, so in all you have three napkins, but this one only had two. And the flag one only has two Glue also. Stick. I'm just going to glue this up. And I'm making sure I get the tips good so it glues down nicely. Just going to like glue off the table so the neck can don't stick to that. And then I'm just going to set this right on top of it like that. And I'm just tapping the napkin. That way I don't rip it because I don't want to rip it. Then I'll have to start all over. And I'm just showing you the first one I'm doing because after this, You'll get, you'll get the gist of it, what I'm doing, but I'll just fast forward through the rest of them. And I only did the glue stick here because I must have forgot. I don't know where I thought the Mod Bodge was easier. I just kept going with the Mod Bodge. Okay, beautiful beings. Just a little bit at a time. And we're just going to go right along like that over the napkin. Too much though because it'll rip. Just want it to glue down. Mm 
making sure I get the edges first. I probably don't even have the correct brush for this. <laughs> Should have got a flatter one. I didn't think about it. Might have a couple wrinkles, but that doesn't bother me. Just want to make sure the tips are covered well. And we're going to do the middle. And you might want to have this laying on something while you're putting the glue on. I just had it held up so you could see what I was doing. And I'll be putting the stars on the star and a flag on a star, etc., etc. One of each. Enjoy the video, beautiful beans. I decided I wanted to do a thank you card. So you can see the thank you on the back drop and the stars in the front. And hopefully the thank you shows nicely through the napkin. And on the rockets, I made sure I captured both the stars and the waves of the red and white of the flag. Then I decided I was going to do the wrap around. So I wrapped the napkin around it so I didn't have to worry about the edges on everything. So I pretty much just wrapped the napkin around everything so we didn't have to wor worry about the edges and what they look like. see the thank you in there but very faintly all right go over this i'm gonna try to go in and out like this so that white on the napkin doesn't take or doesn't show i should say
and that's not dry yet. What I want to do, see, and this is the bottom that's going to be glued down. I better wait. I want to put a flag on the inside and then the other one. So I'm going to wait until they're dry and I'm happy with the results because you can see the thank you. Okay, beautiful beings. They're done. And I'm giving you a close up because you can still see the napkin. You can see it better on this one. See the white of the napkin? But I don't mind that because it just looks like it aged. Okay, from being out in the weather. You can see wrinkles. It just gives it an old age look, I think. And I wrapped it around the napkin from Dollar Tree. I just wrapped it around because it was way easier than to cut it off because it couldn't get close enough. You could see the white kind of of the napkin when it, the glue hardened it, <laughs> when the Maj Baj hardened it. I just wrapped it around on all of them because once I started cutting they didn't like the way they looked so I just wrapped them around this is on the heavy cardboard and this is on a lighter cardboard I like the heavy cardboard better than I do the light cardboard okay but I think they turned out really good. And you can see, still see white of the napkin, but that's okay. It just gives it a really nice vintage age look, especially with a gold paint behind it. Then I made a pocket and some leftovers. So I just took a Kleenex box, part of a Kleenex box that already was shaped like a pocket and wrapped it around and glued it down and painted it white underneath. So we have a pocket too. And you can see the thank you underneath, which I love. Then I took the flag and put it on the inside of the card. I just love it. <laughs> but we are gonna have to take, you can see the thank you here. Not so much over here, but you can see it. And then I put the stars on the inside of this one. But we are going to have to take baby powder, just a little bit. You can even pour baby powder in something and just brush it on lightly. Preferably get a piece of junk mail or a mat like I have. So you can dump the rest of the baby powder out into the garbage. But now I want to decorate our rockets and fireworks. So that's what we're going to do. We have all this different kinds of burlap. This is stuff I used to use when I was making mixed media crafts. This is a string I stiffened with glue, I, I think. And this is burlap I stiffened. And this is more burlap. And I think I either used paint or gesso on this to stiffen it. And this is burlap and I took distressed ink to it and colored it. You see me use this before. It was brown with the numbers on it and I colored it red. And this is just a string I have. And this is the edge of burlap I colored. And this is just string. And we're going to use them for our rockets and fireworks. And they have sticks too to put on our rockets somehow put them on the side you can put them underneath what are we going to do and that's what we're going to do hey beautiful things this one i cut off on accident so i'm just going to cut the rest of it off and we're going to put maybe a white one on this one i think maybe i wanted the white ones for these we'll figure it out as we go This burlap, as you can see, right here, has that wire in it. So I wanted to pull that out a little bit. But I want to get the size just right. So about there, put a wick, and then the wire will come out more. 
So and we're just gonna take some Elena's glue, put it on there, and glue it down with a wick. Easy. Okay. Let's try red wick on this. This is only red I have. Well, I have the other, but it's bright red, so I'm just gonna peel some of that off. The burlap that I colored. And twist this. That a little bit. Some off. Some glue right here on the whole wick. Some down there. And we're just gonna stick that right there. And you can make the wick as long, as short as you want. Okay. This one I want to do white on. napkin on different spots. This one, let me show you before I forget. This one, I put the flag part down here and then I took the stars and went across the top. And that's where they meet. So you can do that look too. Let's try brown. No, we already did brown. Let's try black on this one. Just trying to, you know, do different things just get different looks see how they look or you can just cut the wick off and put that on you can cut the part top part off if you want this part you can cut it right off let's do one of these let's do that let's do that see cut it off this one I'll put the Atlanta's on the back I don't know how it looks that way. I don't know which one I like better. Let's do that there. Like that. Set that aside to dry. I kind of like the ones that are frayed at the end like this. I kind of like them better. This one that belonged to me. But yeah, I like that frayed look. Oh. I like the frayed look at the bottom. The tip. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, beautiful beings? I think they're cute. Now let's do some rockets. I'm going to use white quick on maybe two. These two. See, I love that fray look. I just do. I don't know why. These are going to be a little longer. Then you can always fray it yourself. Tip. I'm going to put this one. That one, 
And then we'll do that one on that one. I'm gonna put back to these because I'm planning on putting a stick too. Now it might be a little lumpy to glue down, but it's manageable. Put them off the side. That one's going to look a little different because it's curled up. It's okay. I want different looks. Now when those are drying, I can't do them both at the same time. So on these ones, I'll put little sticks. You can have kibosh sticks. You can have popsicle pops, you know, those cake pop sticks, whatever you use them for. You can have different sticks, whatever sticks you have. And I want this one for the thinner one. Put it on the side. Just cut it and they will fly. <laughs> and then just glue it. I kind of like the pointed edge, so let's see if I can do that without making a mess. Just a little point in the bottom. It's gonna make a mess, but it's alright. Gonna need sharp scissors for that one. We'll do two different looks. We'll do this one down the side. good. That way if you are worried about it gluing down on the back, then you can just put one underneath it. You can even make these bigger and make magnets out of them. I think they look cute for the fridge. Or you can give them away for gifts or make them for a party. Whatever you want to do, beautiful beans. That one flew <laughs> across the room. I think that needs more glue. I want to make sure it does not come off. There we go. Okay, that's what that's going to look like. But of course, we're going to need a wick down there too, so I could probably just put one on here. I said I had blue burlap, but I don't not here. I kind of want the blue burlap. I know I have some stairs. What is that down here? <clears throat> we'll just put black on it. We'll just put some black on it. So we'll put some wick. That may be too long. We'll have that going the other way. Oh, it has a wick. And this one's gonna need a wet, but I'm gonna wait until that dries because I'm not gonna screw it up. And then I have red, but I think it looks better on the top. Let's see. That's too much red. Let's do white. Let's do some of this burlap. I can get it off. Here, let's go on this side. This one I used gesso. I put gesso on it. I don't even remember what color it was. I think it was a number color, one, two. It was it was brown burlap with it, black numbers on it. And then I just put gesso on it. Stiffen it, as you can see. <laughs> and it's making a mess, but it's okay. Gotta get it off to show you. And I'm gonna put this on the back. I just like that thicker piece like that. Ew. I'll show you what two pieces look like together. Add 
our stick later on. I kind of like them on the side. So if you're worried about gluing them down. But I'll be back when it's dry and we'll add the sticks. I'm thinking I like the sticks on the side. On the bigger ones, they look nice on the bottom. I think the sticks look nicer on the side. And in the bigger ones, they look nice on the back. They really don't have no red ones. Might as well do them all, right? Might as well do them all. So let's do that. Put these up. These aren't done because we have to add wicks. This one will be done. But look at that. <clears throat> look at that, beautiful beans. Firework. So let's get these all done. Might as well do them all while we're here. Might as well do them all. Of course, I'm gonna want black. I'm not gonna want red. I don't. I think the red will blend in too much. And I am out of string. One. Might as well do this one black too. I should have grabbed my blue burlap. I forgot about the burlap. That was in a different place because I have all this other stuff in a separate place. I like the long piece because it just defines it. Said you can just cut off the wick all together and put it in the back. Whichever look you like. And I know that's too much glue. I do. <laughs> I want to make sure the one underneath it's hit. There we go. Get these out of the way. And then our rockets. burlap and sticks. It makes a mess. Beautiful beans. Right, these little tiny ones. Oh, you can even use a toothpick. If you don't like the tip, just cut it off. Toothpick will fit too. It would be perfect. Just cut the top off. Might as well do that for you. The little ones. It's too big for that one. If you like that look. That way it looks like you can stick it in the ground. So we'll do one with a toothpick. And I was gonna define that. I forgot the little characteristics, is that what you call it? I need a black gel pen. Or I can just use a regular gel pen right here. This is in my way now. What are they gonna do this one? No. Put the characteristics in. I should have. Did we do another one that was. No, those were the fireworks. Do that if you want. Or you can just do. 
that apart. It just defines it, I think. Put this new thing down. I'm just trying to get that glue off. See if it's up too high. I want a lot of glue so the stick does not come off. Especially if you're making a magnet, you want a lot of glue. That one, and then all you need after that dries is a wick. Let's move this one over here and continue. Just making the characteristics come back out. So what do you think, beautiful bangs? You like these? Are they cute? I think they are. I think they are. There we go. And we'll put the rest of the sticks on here and put them down a little bit. I think I went up too far on these. Little ones. I don't want to get carried away with the glue because I don't really want it to show, but it's going to show. But I want them to make sure they're glued down. Right. This one's getting a little thinner stick. This one's going to. That one flew across the room. <laughs> if you ever use these for anything, you know that they fly when you cut them. <laughs> they fly everywhere. You know, this one's getting pushed into that way, so I'm going to move that one. I'm going to put my hand over it. That flies instead. That flew instead. And then I'm going to put my hand in front of this. They still fly, but at least they stay by you. I could even put some in the left, but I guess I was just going right with all of them. The sticks. Okay, beautiful things. On these ones, I got blue burlap and I cut the edge of the burlap off because it was thicker. And I put it on all these. Then I just took some white paint and I needed two coats. And I just put it on the stick. So we have the red, white, and blue effect. Okay? That's all I did. And then for these, well, not that one, but the plain ones here. I'm thinking we need a loop right there, the wick. So I got a glitter pen, blue. And I'm just gonna add it there, just so there's a little detail the plain looking ones. This one I can't really do anything so I thought we would glitter this one. All the other ones are still drying so let me get the glitter ready for our glitter lovers and we'll do one rocket too. But I just want a little bit so you can still see the detail. So let me get a piece of junk now. on top so we don't get glitter all over everything. So let me make sure this is clean so we put the glitter back in the thing. I'll be using Garnet glitter from Recollections. And I just want a little bit. I don't want a lot. So I'm going to take
take this, and it's probably way too much glue. So I'm just gonna put it here, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to. I know I should have done this before, but we'll get her. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. I'm trying not to get it on the black detail I did. And we're just gonna shake a little bit on there. Not too much. And you can have glitter on your firework. I got your tooth for tooth. I had the paintbrush in my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit more Mod Podge. And we're going to put some on this. And then we'll tap that off. See, and that's too much glitter. I don't want that much glitter. I'm going to brush them off. Move it around. And we have a little bit of glitter. Without overdoing the glitter. Okay, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm going to show you all the fireworks and rockets because I already gave you a close-up of the other ones and I could just keep going with different ideas but I cannot because the video is already long enough. Here's our glitter one. You can make magnets out of them. You can put them like party favors. You can spread them out on a table. You can do all kinds of things with these, but I will be using these for embellishments for my patriotic pocket files. I hope you give it a try. I mean, you just come up with all kinds of ideas with these. With these ones, I did make the circle go all the way in the back. I just thought it looked better. These could be dynamite or fireworks. Whichever one you want. And here's our rockets. And on the last two rockets that I finished off camera, I did put the sticks on the left. So you can put them on the left, you can put them on right, or you can put them on the back. Close up, because I'm not going to be able to fit them all in my hand. And this one I did on these. I put the detail back in in some spots. Hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope this inspires you to make something. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.